it was Monday morning, and I was feeling kind of off this morning. Didn't really enjoy the walk that we had, and it was already hot by 7 a.m. It's about 8.30 in the morning, and just resting, going through social media, posted my my uh, content and I'm doing some research on solar panels. But right now I'm gonna go measure the roof of the van to figure out how much real estate I have up there. I measured the van roof and it's mostly usable space, except there's just one antenna on the driver's side. I'm not sure if I'll be able to put panels on top of that. I'm looking at the Renogy 330 watt panels and I'm trying to figure out how many I could use. Probably two or three would be pretty good, but I'm not 100% sure if they'll fit up there. 94, 64, 34. There's about 65 inches of width and the entire length is longer than 120, but one of the like main spaces of uninterrupted space is 95 inches so I think I can squeeze up three um, I'll just have to figure it out today I didn't have anything planned for the van because I don't have the materials yet so I was just trying to think of the design and the space by trying things out that I've been thinking about for example the bamboo sticks on the ceiling and then this foldable table I spent some time this morning looking at a trip planner for EV charging stations and I mapped out what it would look like from San Antonio to Los Angeles. The drive is only 20 hours which is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. I guess because when I went to New Haven or when I came back from New Haven it was like 38 hours or something. I didn't realize it was only 20 hours to Los Angeles but the trip looks a little bit risky because some gaps, some of the trips between electric charging stations are like 111 miles or 120 miles. And that's the official battery capacity of the e-transit van. My sister sent me these crystals and I put them in the van for protection. I moved the van up so that I can work on moving things into the van. Like I said, I wanted to test things out. One thing I'm trying to figure out is how to place curtains to have privacy between the cab and the back. And I was thinking of using a wire system of some sort. So I was trying to see what that might look like. Now I just put in some screws here and of course it's not gonna hold any weight the way I did it, but I was just trying to see um, if it might look okay in terms of the space and stuff. The other thing I've been thinking a lot about is the type of tables and storage space. But I think the main concern that I have is the dog, the dogs and their kennels. Right now I don't have any dog kennels or crates, but I'm thinking of buying crash tested types. Um, but they are quite expensive, so I haven't bought them yet. After I finished work, I went over to my mom's house for dinner very briefly. This is Jamie, my, my mom's dog. And dinner was really nice. When I got back, I received some of the materials I've been waiting for. Some of it is the insulation, and the other one is this bug netting, which I found on Amazon. It's meant for gardens. And it was like dirt cheap, just like 20 bucks for these two large sections. I was researching different bug nets for large vans, and those custom-made ones cost around 200 bucks, which is pretty ridiculous. So I'm just going to make my own. And then lastly, I tried out using this rolling cart inside the space to see what it would look like. I think the rolling cart might be useful for like a temporary kitchen setup or something. But I just was checking it out. Come in. 
Later in the night, I was relaxing a bit, and I have a big day tomorrow because I have to fly to Dallas for work. So, I'll see you then. <laughs>